Friday again. <laughs> get ready to get started on our lasagna because I want to be nice and cool. It's easier to cut. We just got back. I didn't get nothing but one thing at the Dollar Tree, so I ain't gonna do no Dollar Tree haul. Um, just not enough there when we really wanted, but you know, I could have got a bunch of candy, but I didn't. Candy bars. So I'm getting ready to get the lasagna all done up. I want to show you guys how we do it. Kaylee's sitting there doing her work. <laughs> She's on the back on school, doing school again. So, let's get over here, guys, and get it done. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. I like having my phone better on the tripod. It's much easier. You can do, you can do stuff much easier. Walk around in circles. Cause you've got to turn the light on, and all that good stuff. You walk backwards if you want. <laughs> I have to defrost the um, meat, turkey meat. But I got the cheese already grated up. This is cheese out of the deli. Not the Amish deli, actually, but we got it over at the Amish store. Okay, and uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit of spinach leaf. There's a lot of spinach leaf in there. Got this organic potato, tomato, and basil pasta sauce. And I got these noodles. I'm not cooking the noodles first. Never do. Like I said, you don't need the, um, you really don't need the oven ready noodles because, um, the regular noodles work just as fine, just as well. I've been doing it forever and they turn out just as soft and everything, guys. Yes, they do. Okay, it's good and thought. So, let's move that out of the way. If I don't have enough, um, I have to not have enough, uh, oh, I can't think of it. Cheese, guys, I will, <clears throat> I got some slices of Kobe Jack in there, I'll throw up in there. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's a little frozen still, but trust me, it'll be okay. I always forget sometimes, because this, this burner here's got a little burner and a big burner. Sometimes I always forget which one to put it on. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool out there, guys. That humidity is gone. I still got flip flops on. Now they might look at my ugly toes. But to me, all toes are ugly. All feet are ugly in my boat. Okay. So I'm just going to chop this up. Really good. <laughs> okay. I'm adding in garlic for sure. Lots of garlic. We want to be able to smell this when it's cooking. We want to be able to smell garlic. And then I'm going to put uh, Mrs. Sass garlic and herb in too. Usually that's the seasonings I put in mine. And then when this is done, I'll pour the sauce in and let it simmer for a little bit. And then I'll put the little onion together. I done got my oven on 425 heating up. I was going to put it in the slow cooker and have a slow cooker on you, but um, if I was going to do that, I should have had it in the slow cooker a long time ago. Hours ago. So, we'll just throw it in the oven. And then I got... Caesar salad to go with it, and then on some, I'll buy a uh, spinach leaf for that too, and some last little bit of shredded carrots I got, well if I don't dump them out on the floor first, that is, <laughs> which I didn't take on. 
and that will be our dinner. I have some crescent rolls. I might make some garlic butter and, and I have some crescent rolls. I might make garlic butter and put rub on them and then roll them and cook them. Maybe brush some more on top. What do you guys think? I think that will turn out good, don't you? Yeah, I do. My uh, things go right up here. <laughs> right above the inside. Well, this one don't. It goes over here on the island. Has a spot on the island for them, so. Yes, it does. Okay, guys, I'll let this cook. And then I'll get back with you. Yes. Finger crossed we got enough cheese. If not, like I said, I got some Colby Jack slices. I'll throw one there, I think. Yes. Cooking with Pink Fairy. Professional chef. Okay, guys, I got that done. Got the noodles done broke to the size. So your first layer, meat. Meat, meat, meat. Let me move this over some. It's kind of heavy. First layer of meat. Spinach. You guys see okay? I don't know if it's better up higher. Make sure my phone's in here shook here and tilt more. I think that's better. I kind of tear up the spinach a little bit. I really don't overdo it. And with my pan, I always put in three layers of noodles. Yeah, just got enough noodles, okay? More meat. You guys, you can't even tell the spinach is in here and make it. Okay, and then, then, start the cheese. Then, I'm gonna take it out. Even though we don't care. Yeah. You do your noodles. See, I broke those too short, so I got the pieces in the box. Find some and put it in. That way, it's all noodle covered. That way. Because that happens when you just break them with your hand, you know? No, I don't have a ricotta cheese. I never have. Probably never will, really. Don't like it. I make this the way I make how I was taught growing up. And we just like it like this. Yes, we do. And then this is the way I make it. And everybody wants ricotta cheese in it. I tried this way one time. Actually, I've had quite a few people tell me they tried it like this and it was good. Just adds more cheese, right? Less cheese that way. Wait a minute. We want cheese. We don't want no cheese lasagna, do we? No, 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 no. Okay. It will melt out. Last bit of noodles. I kind of squish it down in here because you don't want it to overflow in your thing. In your pan, stick this one here. So it's a little off, but not too bad. Last bit. Of 
smelling good putting all that. Garlic and seasonings in here. This sauce is really chunky. It had a big chunks of onion in it. So I like that a lot. They were on their school working at, so it's quite so quiet in here. Dogs are sitting down here and waiting for me to drop some. Mimi and Milo, anyway. Max is on the couch sleeping. <laughs> He won't come running unless he absolutely hears me drop something. He's he's smart like that. So I'm sitting here waiting. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Cook it until it's cheesy and bubbly. However long you like. Sometimes I let the cheese get all nice and brown, and then sometimes I don't. It all depends. Yes, I do. Okay, guys, there's our lasagna. It was in. Uh, I'll say about a half hour. We love this crispy. Tim was just so here looking at me. He says, mm, I love the crispy. <laughs> so, I'm going to end my video here and get this up for y'all. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning or noon, lunchtime, whatever.